Hey, guess what? We got some more camos to get. So today, we're gonna be getting the iron hide dark matter. So I've used this iron hide a little bit right on release. Uh, I used it in zombies, so that's why I have it level eight. And the reason why it's only level eight is because this thing was not very good in zombies. I haven't used it a single time in multiplayer. So we're gonna be testing it out today, as well as grinding it all the way out till we get it gold. So I do have a few attachments unlocked for it, but I'm not gonna throw these on until I die a few times in game. I like to see how the weapons work. Just no attachments, just straight up vanilla on our first attempt through. So let's go ahead, hop in the game and see how this thing does all right we're here on icbm really quick here's the inspect on the iron height if you haven't seen it yet this looks like uh a red rider bb gun almost but like i was talking about earlier this gun is not very good in zombies because of its fire rate but in multiplayer fire rate doesn't matter as much as it does in zombies just damage output and like sprint the fire speed are more important so let's see if we can get a kill with it Ooh, it did decent damage from that range oh got him that was so bad. I was adjusting my seat and then somebody pushed. Oh, let's go. That's a quick double. So from everything I've seen with this weapon is it's more of a ranged shotgun, which is kind of like, uh, which doesn't make uh, too much sense in the world of shotguns, or at least uh, game statistics wise and balancing. But here we are. And it's actually not doing too bad. Doesn't seem awful. Let's go. Oh yeah, it does have range. Okay, this thing's kind of nice. Like, day and night, it's it's kid cutting this in multiplayer and zombies. Let's go. Oh, that should have been a kill. And keep in mind, this is it with no attachments in core. Like, there's no funny business going on here. This thing's actually kind of good. Unless, unless you can't aim. Let's go. Ooh. Whoa. My teammate literally just jumped down and blocked my shot. Look at that. That's ridiculous. This is so much better in multiplayer than zombies. If only it had an attachment for boosted fire rate. I think there's a barrel or something for it, but I saw a clip and the uh, boosted fire rate does not make too much of a difference. Like it increases its uh, shot to reload time by like a few seconds or not even a few seconds, like a quarter of a second something very very hard to even notice but i feel like we also got the perfect map to test this out on oh eat the tommy oh i missed it let's try this nope the reload on it is pretty slow which i feel like is a decent nerf to it especially in multiplayer because if this thing's killing with no attachments from this far away i'm pretty sure that one was just through a wall it needs something to kind of slow it down. We're 21 and nine right now with this. Normally I do so much worse. Oh, come on. Now that we've used the vanilla a little bit, what happens if we throw a few attachments on it? So let's get the wider pellet spread. Effective damage range. A steady aim laser will help with our hip fire. Seven round tube. And maybe we get a speed tape on it. Oh, come on. That should have been a kill. Why didn't it shoot? Okay, it seems like there's kind of a, a delay on the gun now. Like not even just with like shoot the or sprint to fire speed, like just with ADS speed as well. I don't know how to explain it. Ooh, let's go. Oh, quick four. Oh, in the Tommy. Oh, and another one. How am I still alive? Oh, what the hell? This thing's kind of nice. No! I think I had to reload there as I was stimming. That's a bad time to stim. 31 and 17? That's not a bad stat line for my first game with this. Yo, first impressions? I like it. It's pretty It's pretty nice here in multiplayer. Went on like five times streaks, at least five times. We had that nice play there at the end. I mean, two of those kills were tomahawks, but how do you not throw a tomahawk into a little feed like that? But yeah, I, I'm liking this gun. So far, this has been my favorite to use out of the three new weapons added at the Season 6 launch. Like, th this seems like the, the best pick of a bunch, at least for multiplayer. And zombies is a completely different story, but we'll get to that when we get to that. But for now, I'm going to go ahead and grind this all the way out to Dark Matter. So I'll see you guys when we unlock it.
As you just saw in that last clip, we did end up getting the Ironhide Dark Matter. And let me tell you, this gun's actually pretty good. It's kind of crazy how something can be so bad in zombies and just be amazing in multiplayer and vice versa. It's like night and day with this gun. Now, I ended up switching to this build very late into my grind, but it ended up being the best thing I could have done. So shout out to Cruxel for this build. Now, I was using the Task Force Barrel when I was playing in core. Mainly, I grind all my camos in hardcore because it's a lot faster. I don't know what changed with this. I think just because it was a shotgun, I'm like, okay, shotgun gun kills fast play core but when i switched over to hardcore i also switched over to the reinforced heavy barrel for that boosted fire rate and that damage range it actually makes a huge difference the one thing i didn't think to check was the handle i always skip right over the drop shot wrap i figured no one's really drop shotting with this anyways but there is a secret pro on here to that boosted fire rate on the drop shot wrap i don't know if it's like that on other guns i guess i don't really pay attention to the drop shot wrap but this boosts your fire rate by so much those plus 10 percent add up i also had the five milliwatt laser sight the seven round tube i never switched to the eight and the marathon stock but let's go ahead and equip dm ultra but also this is the class i was using i kept switching between perk greed and danger close i was using danger close so i could stun more get those floor camels easier when there was no spy planes or anything in face off but i ended up switching to perk greed just so i can you know get my field mic faster because that seems to help out a lot more than just stunning but you know doing both you'll get your floor done pretty easy anyways i normally hop into a core game to show you guys the weapon at the end but I think it's really important to show you just how crazy this thing is in hardcore. So we're playing some hardcore face off to end this. All right, we got extremely lucky and got a game on ICBM, but this is what the Ironhide looks like with Dark Matter. The light's a little low in here, but you can really tell that it has very, very nice camo coverage. Maybe I can step into the light a little bit over here. Ah. Uh. Here's the other side for you. But anyways, like I was saying, this gun is disruptive in hardcore. You don't even need to aim down sights. I was even told not to run very much with this weapon because just pointing in the general direction of where somebody's at and just shooting most of the time will get you a kill and then the second i switched to hardcore and i started grinding camos there i didn't have to worry about long shots at all long shots became a thing of the past because long shot range already is not too crazy with shotguns and then in hardcore with this which is supposed to be a ranged shotgun like i said earlier just pointing in the general direction most of the time will get you a kill and that's not knocking this gun in, in core or anything it was still pretty decent in core like it was still doing well it's just a lot of the time, even with the task force barrel, it would knock somebody down to like one HP or like a quarter of their health. So it wasn't always a one shot kill, which was, you know, the main downfall of the gun. But here in hardcore, it'll always be a one shot kill. The fire rate doesn't matter too much, especially since now that we have all these attachments to help it out. And you don't even take the effort to aim down sights. You just shoot in that direction. Like I, I can't emphasize that enough how disgustingly broken that is but i went from getting like maybe three kills without dying like on average with this gun to maybe about like six or seven like every time i picked it up i mean right now this probably isn't the best example because i just got done tearing up with this thing my sbm is probably a little busted and then we're in lobbies where everyone's using shotguns now so it's not just me but this thing is kind of nasty and i've been saying this since cold war has like come out but I'm almost positive SBMM links in not only, you know, how well you perform, but what weapons you use too. Because when I was running, what, like the axe? Everyone was using snipers and melee weapons and like tomahawks. So I was getting into games with people that were sharing a similar class as me. And now I'm going against people that are basically just using shotguns. Right there, I was hardly even focusing on the game. Just walking and shooting while playing. And we just got a quick seven times. Like if, if you want to grind this gun out, you want to level it up, get it ready for zombies. I also really do not recommend using it in zombies or trying to grind it in zombies. But hardcore is the place to be using this. Like it, it is just too good here to use it in core. But also uh, since I do record these like maybe a day, maybe multiple days after I record the like the first game since it takes time for me to grind the weapon out and all that. Uh, I just want to thank you guys for getting me to 95,000 subscribers. It's absolutely insane that 95,000 of you want to subscribe to me in the first place. So thank you guys for supporting me, for supporting the channel. It's it's so insane that I'm in this position to begin with. So thank you. Now it's time to just slay. Ooh. Quick double. Oh, we got team killed there. Come here. Go on. Who's next? No, the game is over. Oh, okay. So we went 32 and 26. That's not bad at all. And we got play of the game. Bam. Boop. Bop. 
other stuff gone and wait for the clat right about here ah uh, clean so to sum it up this thing is nice and multiplayer and disgusting and hardcore to be specific and zombies not so much so if you want to check out my videos on that they'll be linked in the description so yeah the multiplayer grind for this was not too bad at all but i want to go ahead and end the video here if you guys like this and you want to see more go ahead and leave a like on it if you didn't you don't dislike if you're new here please consider subscribing put out all kinds of content throughout the week that's gonna be it for me today i'll see you guys next time later